In the Revenge of McGraw, we've got four targets in scale that we need to take out as a chef, so we may as well start as one. Otherwise, we just have to knock somebody out. We'll get a uh, sickening gun there in our kitchen drop-off point. And then we're going to head upstairs, because none of the targets are down here. So we'll grab a coconut, throw this to get the enforcer guard turned around. I forget the key there. So grab that key, open this gate. And as we go upstairs, we will find the first of our targets. This is an uncommon target. I haven't seen him used very much. So he's right there on that cha uh, sofa with his wife, who we'll need to sicken. Because we need her to get out from underneath that chandelier, or else she will be killed as well. Which we don't want. because we weren't paid to kill her. Anyway, upstairs we go. And we're going to use a trick I've used before to get rid of Blake Nathaniel's guard. You have to be very careful to make sure that nobody's looking and just kind of shoot the upper part of the vaulted wall there. And stay away because he's a checkpoint guard, so if you get too close to him, you're gonna trigger him to do something weird. What we're gonna do is throw a coin all the way back here and then try and get Nathaniel to kind of turn. Can you just go and check it out? Understood. Just slightly, oh. and flip them over. You have to do that quickly before that uh, guy picks up the coin and turns around, but if you've done it correctly up to this point, nobody else should see that. So, we've got two more targets. Amos Dexter, the guy from Hokkaido, and another guy. They're both out in the same area, the terrace party, where the VIPs hang out. And this is a good thing, because it makes it very easy for us to deal with them. First thing we'll do is shoot that gas heater. That's to prepare for one of the targets who will go over and smoke next to it. Next thing we need to do is poison Amos Dexter's wine. We can see him drinking it right there, but there is a lady looking at us. She's an enforcer. Fortunately, she's about to move, just about the same time that Dexter steps away from his drink. We're a chef, so we're allowed to poison things in full view of everybody, and no one will call us on it. Now, I experimented with climbing down the pipes and stuff. I'm not sure whether that's faster or not. I definitely ended up briefly going the wrong way here and then turning around, so this could easily be sped up a bit more. But we can leave now, because Dexter's going to get poisoned, and then the other guy's going to blow himself up with a cigarette. And there's no reason for us to be hanging around. Now, there is a fixed exit point on this map, otherwise I would have run to a much closer exit but you have to exit on the boat. So we will have to do that. It's a required complication. But, tonight's the only time the but at this point, those deaths were either accidental or poisoning, so they don't count. In fact, all the deaths were accidental, so we're under no pressure now. And we'll just finish up. We'll get that done quite a bit faster, actually, than the next closest person, and I could easily have gotten under three minutes, I think.